the disclosure movement proper started in 1947. Now, what else happened in 1947? We had, we had Roswell, we had Operation High Jump, where Admiral Byrd came back to the United States with his tail tucked between his legs. We had the Department of War with suddenly the Department of Defense. We had Operation Paperclip. We had Germans suddenly on every board of every corporation in the United States and most of what's now called the Five Eyes. We had a complete change. The OSS, well, supposedly it was disbanded, but I have evidence that it went underground instead, but it was officially replaced with the CIA. And then there was this other thing invented that they didn't even acknowledge for decades. And today we call it um, the National Security Administration, uh, the NSA. The NSA was created to interact with extraterrestrials. That's the difference between it and the CIA. The CIA is to interact with other countries. The FBI is our own citizens. And that's their territories. And I would say in the last decade, they've kind of gotten mission creep. So you've got all of this crap happening in 1947. And the public's being told it's weather balloons. And a lot of really, really smart people are, they're, they're, Ears are perking up, and they're going, this isn't right. What the hell is this? Uh, what's going on? And so the disclosure movement was born. It was an effort to force the government to admit that there were extraterrestrials and that these ships were extraterrestrial origin. Now, truthfully, they may have been German. So what we're looking at is the American government had just won and then lost a war with the Germans. And so they were hiding that these were German ships. And that was when this entire movement got started. So from the get-go, it has been a set of people digging for the truth. And there have been agents and disinfo people mixed in to keep them from finding the truth. So this has been since 1947. Now, those of you who have come of age since this century, you may not know any of this. Okay. You go through the 1950s and the Foo Fighters. The Foo Fighters were Germans from Antarctica. And so you continue to have President Eisenhower claiming that that weather balloons or whatever. He had a treaty he signed with the Germans as soon as he was first elected because they had been buzzing the White House. That's what the D.C. flap was about in the 1950s. And I'm not sure about the Treaty of Grayada. It was the mythos says that it was a treaty with the Zeta Grays. And if so, then that was in addition to the treaty with the Germans in Antarctica. So you've got one with the folks down there and 
possibly another one. And then in that time frame, while Ike was president, you have a bunch of different groups that were coming in because we had set off nukes at the end of World War II. And nukes are very dangerous, not necessarily here, but in the in the densities around us. Uh, basically, what was going off was we were making big holes in the fabric of time and space. And beings who lived in other densities were just simply disappearing. They were evaporated because of our bombs. So not all of these ships are from 3D. Some are from other densities that they were coming in to tell Ike, knock the shit off. So he was having to deal with a lot of things. And I think, I think he was basically a good person and that he was in over his head. So he turned it all over to his vice president, Rockefeller. And so that's where the Rockefellers got their political power was Rockefeller became the liaison between the Germans in Antarctica and the American government. And he, the person who is the director of the Trilateral Commission is that liaison officer. And they have a website. You can find them online. Uh, so that brings us up to about 1960. And we had President John Kennedy was elected, and he was read in, because at that point the president was read in. And he decided that he was going to expose it all. Now, he had a whole list of things that he was going to get rid of, the Federal Reserve was one of them. He went as far as, as creating uh, treasury silver certificates to replace Federal Reserve notes. He was going to transition away from them. So he also took away some of this stuff for the oil companies, and he he and his brother went after the mafia and he did he did probably there were probably 20 things on his list that he pissed off a lot of people and the files recently released in the last couple of years say the CIA killed him on purpose his his assassination was a political coup and everybody who has been elected since then, including your favorite Trump, has been a puppet to those people. That's why nothing ever gets better. So the CIA has been running the country since they shot Kennedy. Now, the CIA is also who does not want us to know that the Germans are, are running the show behind the scenes and that they have to answer to the Germans. And that's why the disclosure movement has turned into a three-ring circus. Okay, in the 1960s, the New Age movement took over the disclosure movement. So you've now got a religious group running this movement. And they believe in high vibe and welcome space brothers. And frankly, having been out in space, that's a stupid thing to do. So you have this new age movement because they took it over 
you had a handful of people who still want to prove that these are extraterrestrials. And then you've got the CIA saying, oh, hell no, we can't let you know they're Germans. So that's what's been going on since the 1960s. 